Oh yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. What is up, everybody? Sorvius here with a special video today. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing Nexus Kingdom of the Winds, and you're gonna find out why that is significant in just a moment. But I had to make this video because something. Oh, hello, Zach. Something absolutely unprecedented has happened. My luck has changed. Okay. Basically, I was on here and, well, the way that this whole thing started was that I was on a, uh, I was going through my hard drive and looking at my old videos and trying to sort everything out because I got this terabyte hard drive external that I want to put all my stuff on so because th this computer is starting to show its age and I want to make sure I get all the important stuff on that external drive before the hard drive crashes eventually and that way I'll have you know I'll be able to upgrade it or do whatever I'm gonna do well all of that was fine and well and I came across an old video that I made last I think the beginning of last well I can't even say last year because it's 2014 now so this is almost almost two years I don't remember the exact date, but it was definitely in 2012, sometime. And I, <laughs> I made this video about this game that I'm playing right now, and I had, um, because I played this game back in like 2006, even as far back as 2004. Uh, I got the notebook entries to prove it. <laughs> from when we played Rose Fest, which was Rose Rush, on the server that we played for a while. Oh my goodness, he's riding a dragon! <laughs> yeah, so, I played this game a long time ago, and it was really awesome. And I made a video about it, like a 15 minute video. It was also one of my tries to do HD video. And I was watching the video, and I'm like, you know, I should really get back into that. And just so you're aware, uh, this is about as far as I got in that video, so you didn't miss anything. Uh, all I did was like the first two quests, if you even want to call them that. But here is the kicker. This is why I am so astounded, okay? I just got done, I was on YouTube before that, looking at my comments, and I just got done saying how I'd like to do a collab with Markiplier, and I can have, I have a face cam, and people were saying, oh man, that's never going to happen. I'm like, well... Obviously, he gets like 10,000 messages a day. People are constantly asking him, how do I know? Because it happened to me. People would ask me all the time if they could do stuff with me. And if I was able, I would. Like the other night when I did the, when I started the build with 900 Red Yoshi on the beach house on the server, which was recorded. You can get that on his channel now. And other times I have to decline because I just have too much going on or I don't have internet access or I don't have the ability, you know. There's circumstances, but I, I if I had, uh, what is this? Oh, man, what a way to ruin the video. Anyway, the whole point I'm trying to make is that I, and I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not collecting any EXP. I have to choose a path here in a minute. The whole reason I'm doing this is because Back when I used to play this game, I was like really far into it and I had a lot going for me and we were doing this Rose Fest game, which was one of the most popular games on it. This is also the game that I played that I may have told you the story about how I spawned the birth of microtransactions. I'm not so much proud of it because I have seen the negative effects of it, but uh, this game and me and other people are are responsible for the birth of microtransactions in games. Now, partially responsible. We didn't like set it up or anything, but the events that took place, it's a great story, which I will tell sometime. And really, really, since I'm in this game, I can show you the things that happened and actually, uh, you know, give it some merit. And you might be able to disagree and say I had nothing to do with it, but, you know, that's on you. So anyway, all right, you know what? Screw this. We're going to, to get my path chosen. And I have this ridiculously dumb-looking silk helmet on. <laughs> yeah. So, 
what I'm what I'm going to do is is just uh, explain to you what happened in this very area. I was sitting, I was just sitting here minding my own business, whacking away at the the rabbits and the squirrels, and a really really high powerful character comes along, and I didn't I didn't notice the name at first, and they said, "Hey, how you doing? Do you need help?" You know, they were just randomly wandering around, and I had only been signed in for about 10, 15 minutes, so it was a really really uh, interesting encounter that I would come across an extremely, extremely high-powered character um, in this game in the noob area. This is the noob area. This is where everyone spawns when they start a new character and has to go through all the motions. The only reason I'm doing this here, collecting acorns, is because you can get some gold for it, which helps when you're a new player. So let's see if I can get out of here. You're still, you still have a pass. You're still too young. What the heck do I have to do still? <laughs> what else is there? Anyway, I um, I was standing right over here, uh, or or down. I don't know. It was somewhere around here. Yeah, down here by the marketplace. And they said, "Hey, how you doing? Do you need help?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I, we we started to get into a conversation, and I I said who I was and that I used to play, and I was a Ilsan, almost Isan poet, and. You know, I had this game Rose Fest, and I was really involved in the community, and, and they were like, oh, that's cool, and, you know, but they were just so in, endowed with power that I, I couldn't, and then I looked at the name, and I was like, wait a minute, I know who this character is. It was a character that has been, they said, yeah, I've been playing for 13 years. 13 years, dude! This character was the guild master of one of the most prominent clans in the entire game and randomly decided to come to the noob area and bumped into me. Now, I don't know about you, but that's the equivalent of sending PewDiePie a message saying you want to do a video with him and within 10 minutes he replies and says, let's do it. That's the equivalent of what happened here. Okay, that just does not happen normally ever but it did and by the time we got done talking I'm gonna I it's it's gonna be incredible we're gonna revive this community Rose Fest is gonna come back we're gonna have all this I mean it was just it was it was awesome and the implications of what happened there are are that um, we're gonna we're gonna get a big boost in activity and I'm also going to assemble the core team because you can have uh, I think up to 10 people in a group and you can have the four different characters which reflects the four different character types in this game the poet, the warrior, the mage, and the rogue the, uh, the rogue is a, is a warrior type but it's more stealthy the warrior is the brute force attack type the mage is the attack magic user and the poet is the defense magic and healing and there's some attack magic but it's not nearly as powerful as the mages so yeah it was un it's unbelievable how I would just randomly run into one of the most prominent characters ever to exist in the game period okay been logged in almost as long as the game has been online which by the way is I think 16 years this game has been online it's absolutely incredible how long Nexus has existed. So that was really great, and I just wanted to, to I know I've just been wandering around this whole time swatting at animals, but I just wanted to, to make this real quick and let you know that that happened, and that's huge. That is going to seriously help our cause here, and I encourage others to, oh hey, here's Lexicon. I encourage others to uh, check this game out, it's 10 bucks a month, free to download you can play freely up to level 49 so you don't have to it's it's kinda like free to play they just give you a level cap but 49 takes like a while unless you get into a really powerful hunting party I mean I got level 99 in two days once uh, playing a mage but I was in a group with like 15 people and we just power leveled the crap out of all of these different hunting areas it was ridiculous so I just wanted to let you know that happened and that is an awesome thing. I made a connection and they're interested in what I have to say. They want to know more about Rose Fest and my ideas and they're like, yeah, we want to bring all this activity back. They actually want to resurrect the game and 
the people that are in charge of the game actually notice when you do stuff in this game. This is like a huge popularity contest, this online game. It's not just about leveling and and spells and how much how powerful you can get. It actually has this unbelievably deep community element that I have never seen. That's probably how I learned how to be able to build communities properly because of all the time I played this game and how community driven it is. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. You can just walk around and swat at these creatures all day. But there is a progression and the community is all it's it's just it's amazing. So I definitely encourage you to check this out and I'm going to be doing some videos on this and showing you my progress um, as we go. But to to instantly be connected after I haven't logged into this game in about six years except for that one time I did that video okay oh I'm out of it I'm full on acorns do I have any goat acorns no not yet just some gator soup yeah after not logging in for all that time and just to that at the same moment run into one of the most prominent players in the entire game I am astounded and we made a connection it wasn't just that we had a chat we actually made a connection and they realized that I was all about you know community development so that's huge and uh, that's all I gotta say. So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to you know like and share, subscribe of course because subscribing actually does help the channel even if you don't watch. The fact that you're subscribed allows me to well allows the channel to enter into the the promotional vortex that's internal in the system because when you add subscribers, the robot thinks that's good and gets you more related hits so be sure to at least subscribe and and share it so that others can subscribe and I'm gonna do a little dance and I will see you in the next video and you stay awesome oh yeah